Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're starting a new series, a new playlist on voltage. We're going to take a look at it in a more conceptual fashion so we can understand what voltage actually is and how it applies in circuits with capacitors, with resistors and so forth. But first, let's try to figure out what do we mean when we say the word voltage. Well, voltage has a number of different names that all kind of mean the same thing. We can call it voltage, we can call it potential, we can call it electrical potential, we can call it EMF, and sometimes we also call it the potential difference. And that's an important concept as well. So let's see, what else can we say about voltage? Well, we can define it as a relative measure, and that's really important as well. Because just like temperature, when you say, well, it's 20 degrees outside, or it's 80 degrees outside, or it's 50 degrees outside, what does that really mean? Well, it's a relative measure. It measures the temperature relative to something else, a different temperature. And voltage is the same way. It's a relative measure. It measures the potential or the voltage at one spot relative to the voltage or potential at another spot. And so that's why sometimes you hear the concept potential difference. So it's a relative measure of how strongly a charge will be pushed away or towards the location of the potential. So here we have a diagram. Let's say that there's a high potential here, there's a low potential here. You can see that a charge, a positive charge, will be pushed from the high potential towards the low potential and a negative charge will be pushed from the negative or from the low potential to the high potential. So here it's all about the potential difference. In one location it's a higher potential, here it's a lower potential. They could both be positive, but nevertheless charges will move in such a way that positive charges will move from high to low and negative charges will move from low to high potential. We can also have negative potential. So here we have a location where the, the potential is positive, the voltage is positive, and here where the voltage is negative. And so positive charges will be pushed by a force from where it's, there is a positive potential towards where there's a negative potential. And negative charges will be pushed from places where there's negative potential towards places where the positive potential. So from negative to positive, from positive to negative, or from high to low or low to high. It really means the same thing. It actually means the difference of the two potentials is what's key. You can see here that the difference between these two is 70 volts and the difference between these two is 90 volts, so there's a greater difference in potential here, there's a greater difference in voltage there as there is over here. And so they would feel greater forces here compared to here because there's a larger potential difference, there's a smaller potential difference, there's a smaller voltage difference between these two locations, there's a bigger voltage difference between those two places. So you can see how we've been using voltage and potential interchangeably, where we really mean electrical potential, electrical voltage, voltage, potential difference, all those terms basically mean the same thing. However, when it comes down to it, it's the difference in potential, the difference in voltage that's really important. Positive charges experience a force pushing them away from positive potential, which is true. Negative charges experience a force pushing them towards positive potential, which is again true, but again it depends upon the potential difference because notice there's a potential here and it's positive and nevertheless the positive charge is being pushed towards this because this is a higher potential over here. So you can see that sometimes the, the wording can be a little bit misleading. We could also think about it this way, the force experienced by a charge, as we can see in these two examples, is proportional, proportional to the difference in the voltage, the difference in potential between where the charge is located and another location. So if the potential here is higher and the potential there is lower, the force experience is simply proportional by the difference between the two potentials. And it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative or negative or positive, it's the difference that really matters. So hopefully that already clears some of the things up, some of the confusion about what voltage or potential is. We'll show you some more videos with some more examples and some more constructs there so you can finally understand what do we mean by voltage. This is where we start.